Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks, Anand, for your kind introduction as well as for this uh, opportunity. Before I start my presentation, and on behalf of JE Solar, I would like to thank all of you for attending this webinar. Uh, sorry, this event. As for my presentation today, it will be divided into two parts. The first part, I will be uh, giving some figures and numbers about JE Solar where we stand and our position in the market. Then in the uh, second uh, part, I'll be talking about our roadmap as well as the main products. So let's start with our first part. Uh, JA Solar is uh, a solar leading solar module manufacturer. Our company was established in 2005 as a sales manufacturer. In 2007, we start doing both cells and modules. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want to just emphasize that JE Solar is one of the few companies who have the uh, know-how of our core business, which is the cells. Our company is uh, a public listed company. We used to be uh, listed in NASDAQ. Uh, and we delisted from NASDAQ. Right now, we are listed again in Shenzhen in China. We have almost 30,000 employees. We have almost uh, 12 factories, 10 in China, one in Vietnam, and one in Malaysia. And our annual revenue last year was above $6 billion. I'm happy today also to announce that JE Solar has already achieved 100 giga accumulative shipment, which is probably one of the few companies who already achieved this uh, figure. We always maintain a 14% of, of the market share, and last year we were ranked number two in terms of the annual capacity in which we shipped almost 40 giga uh, for last year. As a leading solar module manufacturer, we do the uh, ingots, wafer, cells, and modules. We have an annual capacity of 40 giga for ingots, wafer, and cells. And for this year, we are targeting 50 giga of solar modules. J Solar is strictly focused on the quality of our products, in which we are using uh, state-of-art technology as well as an advanced devices, where uh, the, the, uh, uh, the quality process uh, is uh, throughout the entire production uh, process. And the selection of the material, module design, as well as the inspection and, uh, inspection and testing for the modules. We are one of the few companies who are not just deploying the quality assurance, quality control on the module itself, but we also deploy this on the wafer as well as in the ingot in order to make sure that we have the same quality for all the cells that we, uh, we are using to produce the modules. This is why our name is well recognized globally from uh, third parties uh, organization. Moving forward with the second part of my presentation, I'll be talking about uh, our roadmap. For us, uh, and probably you may know, JA Solar is the patent holder of Berg Technology. And we were the first company to deploy gallium dubbing in a mass production. Also, we were the first one to produce the standard poly modules in 2006, and we were the first one to start producing the high 500 plus modules. We have right now four major project, uh, products. The first one is DB Blue 1 and DB Blue 2, DB Blue 3, as well as DB Blue 4. The difference between these uh, modules is the cell's dimension. DB Blue 1, we are using uh, 158 millimeter cells. 
166 millimeter cells for DB Blue 2 and 180 for DB Blue 3 and 4. We are producing these modules in both types, monofacial as well as bifacial. Like in, in order to go deeply about each and every product, DB Blue 1, we are using 158 millimeter cells in which we are able to achieve 410, 415 as a module power capacity. We also are able to achieve 460, 465 if we are using 166 millimeter. For DB Blue 3, we are using 182 millimeter in which we are able to achieve 500 uh, 50 uh, watt as a module power capacity if we use 72 cells, but if we use 78 cells, we are able to achieve 600 uh, watt module power capacity. I would say that probably in the last two years, the innovation or the, the improvement on the cells efficiency for B type has reached its limit. And we are seeing right now the trend in the market is to enlarge the module dimension by uh, increasing the cells dimension. This is why we are moving to the next generation in, in our market, which is the Deep Blue 4. Deep Blue 4 is the B N type technology. N type technology is going to be the trend for the upcoming years. We have already started the mass production of our N-type, and we are producing these modules in two formats. Uh, the first one, if we are using 54 uh, cells, we are able to achieve 410, 435 uh, uh, module power capacity. And the bifacial, 560, 565. It's true that N-type is going to be the, true, uh, the, the uh, trend for the upcoming years. But we all believe that we are right now in, an, in a transition period. And it takes time. Uh, we always one of the leading solar module manufacturers to start producing the new technology. But it has to be a jointly effort not just only from the supplier, but also from the upstream companies as well as from the downstream companies to take this uh, technology from the level that we are in today to upcoming levels in which it has to be commercialized with a reasonable prices. As I mentioned early in my, my presentation, and I'm happy also to emphasize this uh, announcement again, that we have already achieved 100 giga as a cumulative shipment. We are one of the few companies who achieved this figure. There are some couple of projects over here uh, which were installed globally. But like, let me focus on the projects that we have installed in MENA region. In Middle East, we have more than one giga installed base. We have more than 400 mega in Dubai. We have more than 400 mega as well in Jordan, 200 in Egypt, more than 100 mega in Oman, and almost more than 70 mega in KSA. So we have already a strong uh, installed base in, in Middle East, and we look forward to working with you in order to build on this success. So that's all from uh, my side. Uh, if you have any question, please just let me know, or probably we can uh, chat after uh, the, the, the presentation. Many thanks again for your time.